Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be a full face of makeup using a load of my old favorite makeup products. And I originally saw Shan XO do this video. She came up with the idea. So obviously I'll leave her video linked below, but I thought this was a really good idea. And then I saw Soph do it as well. And ever since then, so many of you guys have been saying, please can you do this video? So. Here I am about to do it. So I've collected together some of my old favorites and by old favorites, I mean my favorites from back in the day when I was like 13, 14. And I noticed that quite a lot of them are also like my very first makeup products. Like I've got my first ever concealer, my first ever lipstick. So it's also gonna be like me using my first makeup products again, like 10 years later, 10 years later? Yeah. So the first two foundations I ever used were the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse and the Revlon Colorstay. And the Dream Matte Mousse, I liked it, but I wouldn't say it was a favorite. Like I soon started to realize that it wasn't that great. Whereas this one, I used it for years. Like I repurchased so many of these. I loved it so much. So yeah, that's the Revlon Colorstay for normal to dry skin in the shade 150 Buff. This has been in my makeup drawer for so many years. Like I am apologize to my skin right now. I am sorry skin. <laughs> this probably shouldn't be going on you. This takes me back so much, like pouring it on your hand and it will just trickling off like, go. it's so runny. Okay, so I've just made a few dots on my face. I am gonna apply it with a brush, even though I... <coughs> What was that? I used to apply it with my fingers, like I would literally now just go like that. But I'm gonna apply all of these products how I would do my makeup now so that we can like properly test them out. But if you would like me to do another video where I use all these products in the way that I used to use them, so horrendously, then I could definitely do that. I think that would be so fun to like put them on in the way that I used to and make myself look like a tip. But for today, I'm gonna try and like do a good job with it try. Oh, that's really annoying. I think I'm gonna have to get some more out. It's not the easiest contraption, is it? I mean, why did they think that was a good idea? There he is. There he is. Come on. And then it's like never ending. Stop. Oh, it's just so watery. Was I supposed to shake it? Should I have shaken it as it's been just sat there for so long? Probably, but I haven't. It feels... Have I blended it out? Doesn't it look quite wet on my face? Like my face looks wet. It's quite a like dewy consistency, I'd say. Like my face does look really shiny. It doesn't look very nice, does it? <sighs> Anyway, enough of that. We're going to move on to concealer now. And I've had to repurchase this one because I didn't have an old one. But I remember my favourite concealer for so long was the Miss Sporty So Clear Anti-Spot Concealer. Antibacterial. Prevents new skin infections. Really? Does it really do that though? Really, really? But yeah, I got it in the shade number one. This is the palest one. And this is actually the first concealer I ever used. And it's also the concealer that I used to put on my lips. But I'm not going to be doing that today. That, that will be saved for the other video if I end up doing it. I can't open it. Oh no. Oh no. It is... It is so like sticky and like dry. It just, ooh. Yeah, not a very nice consistency at all. <laughs> I don't know, I can tell it's gonna crease a lot because it's so dry and sticky. I remember doing this and my nose used to like get so like creased. The makeup around my nose used to, ugh, it was never good. So far, my face feels very cakey and not very comfortable, but I'm gonna move on to, I don't have a powder. The only powder I've ever used is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. You are my most long-lasting favourite makeup product ever. How do you feel? Good. And I tell you what, I am in need of a powder. This is one sticky face. Ugh, that is so much better. So the first eyebrow product I ever bought was the MUA Pro Brow Ultimate Eyebrow Kit because it was really cheap and I thought, this is probably not gonna go very well. So let's just get a really cheap one to try it out. So yeah, this is the first one I bought and I used it for quite a long time. It was one of my favorites for ages. Ooh, I was not expecting that. This is what it looks like on the inside. So you've got a really dark brown color, but I think I maybe mixed it a bit with this one. I'm not sure. And then you've got this one, which they call a highlight color. Really? And then this is just like a waxy stuff that you put over the top to like hold them into place. You also get a lovely brush and some tweezers. And I used to use this brush that came with it. So because I'm gonna try and make it look semi-decent, I'm gonna try it with one of my own brushes and not use that naff little piece of plastic because let me tell you, is not very good. And I'm just gonna try and actually do my eyebrows with this, how I would do them now. <laughs> Definitely too dark. <laughs> oh dearie me, this is not going very well. How do people get along with powder eyebrow products? I find them so hard because the powder's just like, 
all over the place. So now I'm going to take a bit of this lovely waxy stuff and I just used to run this through afterwards because then they would stay in place. Yeah, this does not feel like a good idea. <laughs> I didn't used to do my eyebrows like this. I literally used to just get the brush, dabble it on those and just run it through like once. So I didn't really try and shape them with it. It doesn't work for, tri for, sh for shaping them. As you can tell there we have it oh i didn't use the highlighter did i Ooh, we can't forget this lovely matte beige color for my highlight so highlighted <laughs> the first eyeshadow i bought that i actually thought you know what this is all right i quite like you was the maybelline color tattoo in the shade pink gold and it's like a creamy one and i just never got along with like powder eyeshadows in fact it's only recently that i've kind of worked out how to use them at the age of nearly 23 so there we go it's taken me a while it's been a long journey but this is the first eyeshadow that i was like yeah i like you you're my fave so i'm gonna pop this all over my eyelids it's quite dried out this is pretty old just used to wipe it along my eyelid a little bit where's it gone Oh, it's so hard and just like, it's a nice like shimmery pinky color and it was really easy to use. That's why I liked it. You didn't have to like faff around with different shades. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. I look so pale, don't I? I need to sort my face out, but first I'm gonna do my eyeliner. And this is actually one that I still use every now and again to this day. I mean, I usually use the Soap and Glory one, but sometimes I still use the L'Oreal Super Line at Perfect Slim. This was the first one I ever brought and I still really like it. Probably a little bit dried out though, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Not bad. I've done that quite thick, haven't I? Oh no. Okay, so they're very fat, but it will do. I still like this product. It has dried out a little bit, so it was quite hard to use. In fact, I feel like the nib has gone kind of like soft and floppy. I've lost the goddamn lid. Well, now it's really gonna dry out. <laughs> I'm really excited for the next bit. This was my favorite mascara for so many years and I can't actually remember why I stopped using it. It is the Maybelline, the Colossal Volume Express Mascara in 100% Black. And I couldn't forget this one because it's bright yellow. I was like, I know what mascara I used to use. So I found it and I am really excited to use it because a really fat wand how did i used to get along with that it's got a really fat wand it's really bristly like it's the proper bristly one not like the plasticky one so yeah i don't know i'm really excited to see because my eyelashes used to be so big like when i see old pictures Oh, I might be able to go back to having big eyelashes again, like proper big ones, <laughs> proper big ones. <laughs> I know why I used to be all right with it. I used to do my mascara before anything else and I would literally just do my mascara, get it all over my face, then clear it all up, then do the rest of my makeup. So that's why it didn't matter that it had a big one, but it does get you some whopping great big eyelashes because you can just go crazy with it. I used to put so many coats of mascara on. It was just my favorite thing, whacking that mascara on. The bigger the better, the clumpier the better. How the hell am I gonna do my bottom lashes with this beast? Ugh, it has creased so much. Wow, I didn't get it on my face. I don't know how well you guys can see my eyelashes, but they do look clumpy. There we go, I've separated it as much as I can. And I actually like that. I would happily have my eyelashes like that. I really like this. I'm gonna start using it again because it was my favorite for so many years. I can't even think how long, but I loved it. <laughs> A little bit too much, maybe. <gasps> I found my lid, I found my lid. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, so to bronze my face, I used to use bronzing pearls and I used to have two different ones. I had some Avon ones and these ones by Gosh. Is it Gosh? G-O-S-H, yeah, that would make sense. That's what that says. Um, and I used to love these so much, like bronzing pearls were my thing and that's how I did it for years. Like that was the first bronzer I ever used was this. But I used to apply it using this sponge. <laughs> I didn't realise that this sponge was just to like hold them into place but I used to use this to apply it like that's how I put it on but for this video like I said I'm trying to do it how I do my makeup now so I'm going to try and apply it properly so I'm just going to tap my big fat brush in there orange it's not bad like it's not as like patchy as I thought it would be I thought it would be like patching all over the place but it's got quite a nice shimmer to it like I feel like in the summer this would be really pretty but it's just a bit too orange I'm seriously getting it in my hair <laughs> that is my bronzer and then my first ever contour product would have been my good old sleek contour kit and this is the original one like I haven't repurchased it this is the one from about four or five years ago <laughs> whoa 
Oh, I didn't even notice I'd done it that much. I was just going to town and then I looked up and I was like, whoa. I think because I already have so much bronzer on, it just didn't really go that well. That looks so bad, like so bad. <laughs> So yeah, not only was this my favourite contour, because it was like my only one, but this was also my favourite highlight, because it was my only one. Um, but I did really like this highlight when I was younger. I don't love it as much now, because it doesn't really do that much, I find. It does like a really natural highlight, which I guess a lot of people do like. To be honest, it is pretty decent. Let's, let's give it that. It works. Look, I've got a highlight. I just realised I forgot to do blush, and my favourite blush when I was younger was the number 7 blush in the shade Soft Damson. It's just like... A pink colour like that. It's now on the floor. I haven't used this in years. Like, I have so many blushes that I prefer now. Don't really want any more colour on my face right now, do I? Yeah, it's just a pretty natural pink colour. I still like it, I just haven't used it in a very long time but let me tell you it used to be my favorite i didn't buy a lipstick apart from like cheap ones that maybe you got in like kids makeup sets when you were really little but i didn't buy an actual lipstick until i was like 19 20 like i really had no interest in lipstick i just used to put concealer or foundation on i heard a lot of people raving on youtube about mac lipsticks so the first ones i ever bought were mac lipsticks these were my first two i bought creme de nude which is basically like concealer lips because you know that's how I liked it back then and then I also bought creme cup which is like a slightly more pinky one I think I'm gonna use creme de nude just because I feel like it'll look funnier <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. I absolutely loved these two. They were my favourite lipsticks for so long. That is the most unattractive thing. <laughs> and it's just, oh, oh. I don't know why I thought that was a good colour. How did I go about my day though? It's so thick and just like, I feel like you'd just eat something and it would go everywhere or drink something and it would be, oh god those glasses must have been coloured. So there we have it, that is a full face of makeup using my old favourite makeup products and some of my very first makeup products that I ever bought. I think the foundation was good, the concealer was a big no, not a nice consistency, nah. -uh. The bronzer, I just wasn't very careful with it, I should have tried harder, that was my fault. I still really like the blush and the highlights were right. Eyeshadow, I'd still use it. The eyeliner, I'd still use it. I just wasn't having a very good day today, was I, clearly? <laughs> Mascara, I'm definitely going to still try and use it. I really like it. The lips, hell no. The lips are a big no-no. Oh, and the eyebrows, nah. -uh. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you'd like me to do this again, but in the way that I used to apply it, which... Oh, I'd love to show you guys how I used to actually do my makeup when I was a teenager. So let me know if you'd like to see that video and I will definitely film it. And yeah, I think that is everything. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!